one of the big accusations you may get thrown at you when you begin to question things is that you're rude. Rude simply means you don't consider someone else's expectation. Now look at this. The fact alone that they have a term for you to accuse you when you don't give in to others' expectations, that's already a red flag. Look, others can expect things from you, but you can also expect things from others. But why is it that in society, you're just expected to give in to what the collective expects without questioning nor testing the expectation of the collective? So, if you're expected to say good morning instead of hi to someone that's older, you expect to just do it. Why? Uh, or if you're expected to allow people uh, to get away with ignoring you, you're expected to do it. So society has expectations, and the moment you question them, they begin to attack you. And one of the main things they attack you with is your root, or you don't consider other people's, other people's feelings. You're an asshole. Uh, you should be more uh, considerate. You should have more empathy. Hold on, hold on. Does society do the same to you? Uh, no. Then they just give you some memes or they give you some pep talk and then you have to figure it out all on your own. Hold on a minute. Why is it that the group can just expect things out of the blue without any explanation, without any justification and you are the bad guy when you question this narcissistic attitude? So listen, for you to be embraced by society, you have to be available to be scammed. If you're an individual, you're, you allow people to scam you, walk all over you, spit on you, shit on you, and you don't complain and you always smile, then society loves you. They will promote you. They'll put you on the highest places and the highest positions. The moment you just look at someone with question marks or, uh, when it's legitimate, they already get uh, pissed off at you. They already, they already seek to replace you. Now, what I'm making plain to you in this audio is that most people will not even notice when a situation has gone too far. With going too far, I mean when the situation has become dangerous. Too many people don't even realize when the danger is advancing. Now, why is that, Rashid? Is it because a lot of people are mentally slow? No. Because even mentally slow people can figure out when a situation is becoming dark and grim. The reason why so many people simply do not notice when a situation is becoming dark and grim is because they were raised not to notice nor see evil. It may surprise you how many adults out there with degrees, with high paying, with well paying jobs, with high IQs, how many of them simply don't notice when circumstances are getting dangerous? Why? Because they were raised not to see those things. Because one thing you need to understand society does not reward you when you question uh, odd expectations. Society only rewards you when you say yes sir, yes ma'am, and you bow down to whatever urge and drive society has. With urge I mean it's witchcraft, with drive I mean it's black magic. When you bend over without complaining, that's when society will reward you. The more, I'm not talking about people who just complain uh, in a fit of rage uh, to get attention. I'm not talking about people who are chronic complainers and we're not interested in solutions. I'm talking when you're genuine, when you're genuine, and you really want solutions, you really want to solve things. If then you ask questions with the right motive, society will not praise you. They'll pretend like they appreciate it, but behind your back, they're murmuring, complaining about you, and hoping that bad stuff happened to you. They'll become your mortal enemies the moment you legitimately question things that are objectively wrong. So that's why most people don't even notice when the situation is getting dark. And this is why it's important to listen to, to little children. I'm not talking about children who are about 8, 9 years old or approaching their teenage years. I'm talking about little children. When a little child, 5 or 6 years old, is uncomfortable with something or around some 
someone or a group of people pay attention. Because that little child is not brainwashed yet to ignore their inner radar. Most people out there are brainwashed to ignore their intuition. That's why a lot of people just don't realize when things are getting, how do I say it? Let me know if you know the word. Don't realize when things are getting spooky or things are getting uh, freaky or things are getting very getting scary. They don't notice it. And a lot of folks, let's just be clear here, they don't even care when things are getting dark. As long as they have their ease, their relief, and as they are so-called left alone and they're not bothered, it's okay. They don't look beyond that. And such people, especially those who just don't want to be bothered by anything, they are the first ones to run away and abandon other people the moment they actually have to notice danger. They are the first people to turn on you and to sacrifice you. They may even set you up so that all the negative attention goes to you so that they can escape. Look, I'm not saying all people out there are cowards. That's not right. And that's not true either. But a lot of people in this world are just that, cowards. They were raised not to notice danger. It's only dangerous in their face you realize, oh, ooh, something is wrong here. That's why you realize the following. Sometimes when you notice an inconsistency or a red flag, it's better not to inform those around you. But Rashid, if I keep my mouth shut and later bad things happen, I'm responsible. Now hold on a minute. Before you begin to blame yourself, ask yourself the following. Are those people even interested in being safe? Or do they just want to escape bad situations? There is a difference. If you're interested in being safe, you will, you will self-reflect, reflect on the people around you, you will give up wrong thinking, you will, you will give up wrong habits, and you will strive to be a better human being, a more empathic, a more reliable, and realistic human being. That's when you're interested in safety. But people who are not like this, they just want to be able to escape anytime things get uncomfortable. It's a big difference. One is actually interested in safety, the other wants to escape. Now, when people just want to escape, if that's their mentality, then you're better off not warning them when you notice a red flag. Because I'm telling you, what if uh, someone walks in with their wife and you get a very odd, you get a very odd vibration from the wife? And you feel a, a bit in danger around her. And she also notice when, that when she's talking, she's using this artificial um, high voice. So instead of using her own natural feminine voice, she talks in a very high tune. And she notice why she's talking in such a high, high tune. Now, you're not aware that there's something witches tend to do. Just to hypnotize people. Well, you're not aware of that, but still you sense this is off. And let's say that you tell your buddy saying, Dude... Have you noticed Jeffrey's wife? She talks in a very high tune. Do you check things a bit? It's a bit odd. And let's say you, they tell you, "Oh man, don't worry about it." Later, when you're, you're not around, they're going to tell Jeffrey, "Hey Jeffrey, you know Bart over there? He was a bit concerned with your wife's voice." And Bart may think, "Ah, don't worry, man. This is just how my wife talks." And that Bart will tell his wife when he's laying next to her in bed about what Jeffrey was considering. And now this woman now get shocked that someone is on her disguise. So now she may seek to set up uh, Jeffrey just to make sure uh, nobody figures out her witchcraft. That's what I mean. When people are not interested in safety and they just want to, but they just want to escape, they, all we know to them, they will set you up. They won't realize when to keep their mouth shut. They won't realize even when to open their mouth. They don't, won't realize any of that because their only mindset is is to be at ease and to be left alone. So, don't cause your pearls before swine. If people are not interested in safety, then you're better off just to remove yourself from the situation. Because a lot of folks, I repeat, they are not able to see or notice danger because they've been mentally deformed not to notice it. And many of them don't, are not even interested. So when you come and highlight 
red flags to them, they'll see you as a danger and they may even turn on you and collectively see, seek to destroy you because they don't want to be rem remembered that they have natural collective obligations towards one another. So don't cause a person full swine. Be at peace.